Hey people, another comparison teardown today, this time with battery chargers. We have this older unit meant to charge two sets of two AAA rechargeables or two sets of two AA rechargeables, nickel metal hydride. And then this newer compact unit with the power supply built in for charging, again, two sets of to AAA or AA. Gonna pop these things open, see what makes them tick. Alright, got the covers off these things. Let's take a look at the newer one first. Since this one has the power supply built in, trying to be more compact, it has a little switch mode supply up at the top there. You can see there's a 10 ohm fusible resistor in series with the mains input, a little bridge rectifier, a pair of 3.3 microfarad capacitors, and a little inductor, I guess a LC filter there, some sort of package device, maybe a, another fusible link in there. Maybe diodes, not sure. Yellow thing, I'm assuming, is the transformer. And then, yeah, lighting's bad. There we have diode and little output capacitor, which is 1000 microfarad, 10 volt. Yep. So, on the back, all surface mount. That chip there that I see is the driver for the switch mode. That's, I guess, all of the switch mode supply. It does have decent clearance between the primary and secondary side, which are conveniently labeled. And over here have some surface mount transistors, resistors, a charge controller IC, and then I guess the mirror image on the other side. So two channels, shared power supply. And that's it. Two batteries driven in series with claiming uh, 250 to 300 milliamps output for the AA charge per channel, and then 120 to 150 milliamp output for AAA per channel, and that's at 2.8 volts DC. Alright, there's the new one. Here's the older battery charger made by Maha Energy Corporation. When I first had this thing popped open a few weeks ago because there was a cracked solder joint on the input jack that caused it to intermittently lose power, which was annoying, but I got that all fixed up and it works perfectly now. What I did notice when I had it open last time was that it has twin power supplies. It has a 12 volt input, some filter caps, but then on each side it has an identical little switching buck regulator with Transistors, diodes, resistors, everything, toroidal inductors. And there's one per side, identical. Down in the charger circuit area, it's nearly a mirror image, though it is like the energizer controlled by a single charge control chip, which I don't think it'll focus at this range, but it's labeled Power X. And there's this other IC, smaller one that looks like maybe a comparator of sorts. When I found the documentation, it listed this as also being able to recondition or try to recondition nickel cadmium batteries by doing a controlled discharge and recharge cycle. And that's what those buttons there were for. I couldn't quite figure out what they were for when I first got this, found it free in a recycle box and apparently those will 
tell it to condition the batteries, try and get rid of the memory effect. Overall, this unit seems to have more substantial power components than the Energizer. It claims on the back to be capable of 500 milliamps per channel at 2.4 volts to charge the batteries. The Energizer only claims 300 milliamps per channel. So this is a bit faster charge and a bit more solidly built unit than the Energizer. So I do notice that despite the faster charge, the batteries in here get less hot than they do in the Energizer. So this might have a bit of a better charge controller on it. And that's what's inside. Inexpensive, made in China, nickel metal hydride AA battery chargers. Something day I'll probably do a teardown of a high quality battery charger, one that charges each battery independently, but I don't have access to one of those right now, so this is it for the battery charger teardowns. Thanks for watching.